still learning. Even those of us that have been in the Senate for 16 years, we are still learning. So we'll do well to continue to learn. But in the course of my uh, uh, talking to one of my distinguished sisters, that she should uh, speak whenever she's uh, recognized. I made reference to the fact that we are not in a, a nightclub where people have to shout above the noise of the music. And the social media went agog. I'm not on social media, but my wife called me that people got angry, they published her number and said people should occupy her. So she used to receive she received over 2,000 to 3,000 phone calls a day. And then I tried to own one of my phones. I realized it was in the public. In fact, the phone crashed after about three hours. So I, I, I am very happy with the interest generated by Nigerians in what goes on in these chambers because we are here to cater for their interests. And uh, so for them to... Uh, to be so interested in what goes on here means that we are connecting with the people directly. And it would have been terrible if we were doing all this work and the people were not even aware of what we are doing. But the communication was totally misunderstood. Instead of taking it for the uh, nature of what we said, that you should not shout when you are talking and not uh, and speak when you are recognized. They went into private uh, abuses. I don't want to say what they did to me because uh, what they did to me, I think I don't merit it. I was telling DSP that he's even the one they should be talking to because in my tradition, we marry only one wife. So they listed so many wives on social media <laughs> and uh, at the end it will look as if the senate president had or has so very wise when indeed i'm reporting to my colleagues i have only one and uh, i'm satisfied with that one and uh, she's a, a beautiful and loving woman i will not intentionally denigrate any woman i have a wife i have four daughters and i always pray that uh, god will lift a girl child to the highest zenith in Nigeria, politically and in business. I also want my children to do well. So this is Senator Natasha. I want to apologize to you if you felt offended. If I had mentioned that we are not in the market, they would say I said you are in market war. I, if I said that you were not in a nightclub where people shout above the noise of the music, they will say you went to nightclub. If I said you were not in a community uh, uh, meeting in the village, they will say Akpavio says Natasha is a village woman. For me, there is nothing I will say that will not be misunderstood. But the interest generated in the social media, people jumped in, shows that you have a lot of political enemies. It also shows that I do have enemies. All of us here contested elections with people. So whenever those people think that you are being brought down, they will jump up and they will say all sort of things. Um, I, I noticed even some of them that could not pass through Senate screenings went into the fray and abused the Senate president, abused you and all that. I don't know how you took it, but I felt that I should send a, a, a public apology to you over the miscommunication and the misunderstanding. So do accept my apologies and my colleagues, or anybody who could have felt offended, accept my apologies. I did not mean uh, any harm, and I did not mean what they are misinterpreting in the social media. And I hope this will come to an end. And people should concentrate on things that will move this country forward and not things that will divide us. So I hope the apology is accepted. Leader of the Senate.